Castell Dimbich, Denby Castle. Welcome to Denby, Denby Town in North Wales. Denby is one of the most historic towns in Wales. And what I'm going to do in this video is going to have a bit of a wander around the town, Vale Street and High Street. I'm just going to show you some locations. I'm going to explain what was there originally, and I'll show you obviously what there is now. So it's like a Denby now and then. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Wow, a bit breezy, so let's have a wander around the town. Show you what was Denby like, or what was there in the old days. Okay, so I'm starting in Vale Street. So this is the main, one of the busiest main roads in and out of Denby town. And just look at there, that shop there, which is closed now, but that was called called Bric-a-Brac and then it was uh, Alido in the news agents well that's what that was called and as you can see there Rollins the chemist that was Littler and Williams that was a grocer's and next door that was the old Nat West which has been closed for many years but that was that was the Leopard Inn and that moved from Vale Street to the High Street and I'll show you a bit later on where that moved to. And there, that was uh, the Free Press office. Oh, it got a bit quiet. That was uh, where the Free Press, the Denbyshire Free Press office was. So this is in Vale Street. That's leading up onto the High Street. And just uh, crossing over the road, where you can see Happy Homes there. It's a furniture shop. That was Aston's. And that was a furniture shop. So Happy Homes has carried on the furniture shop, but that was originally Aston's. That's on the first street, say, headed up into High Street. And this building here, the white building there, is the King's, uh, known locally as the Glue Pot. It was a pub. A bit higher up, that grand building you can see there. That was uh, the home of Thomas G, who uh, founded G's Printers, which is just up there, Chapel Street. And just off the Vale Street there, which I talked about Thomas G, and this was Thomas G, the printers. This is the printers works. Opposition to the free press. And a bit higher up on Vale Street, you can see the Principality and also this building here. That was the Beehive Shop or Beehive uh, Drapery drapery Shop. The, uh, the higher part there was the men's and the lower part where you can see the which is now the Principality that was the ladies section. So that was the Beehive Drapery. And just off the drapery We've got the Guildhall Tavern, which was originally the Bull Hotel. A bit quiet in here too. So you can see the Guildhall Tavern there, but that was originally the Bull Hotel. So let's move on to the High Street. Well, this is the uh, High Street in Denby, H.M. Stanley statue. And at the top of Vale Street you can see it's now Specsavers. Um, but that was R.G. Jones Drapers, another Drapers, and then it became W.H. Smith, and on the corner here, um, it was Cluid Pierce Deli, there's a delicatessen on the corner there. So let's cross over now into Crown Square. Before I cross over into Crown Square, uh, the library as you see there, that was a, a market hall, it's that market uh, stalls there clothes and all sorts of stuff there. Two big wooden doors. I remember going in there when I was a kid. Anyway, let's cross over now to Crown Square. So this is Crown Square and that's the Angel, the memorial. That's not the original position, the Angel. It got moved. It was originally somewhere here. It got moved to one side. 
And that's the uh, the Crown Crown Hotel. It's one of the oldest inns or the oldest hotel in Denby. And here, oh there, that that um, Monopoly now. That was Dick's Boots. It was a Dick's store shop that used to be on the corner there. And that was one of the Mellards. That was the Ironmongers. There was three Mellards in Denby. That was one of them there. And there was another one here. And there was another one just around the corner there. And on the corner here, there was a, a little tobacconist. And the door to get to get into it was here. It was only very small. Only very small, but that was a, a tobacconist. And as I say, this is in the back row, as you can see there. The back row of Denby. And this was the old fire station. It's now the town hall above, but and it was a, 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 also a, an old second-hand furniture store. Oh. And moving further, well, I'd, also I'd like to say here was the Farmer's Arms, located roughly there. And it was owned by Salt & Co. So that was Farmer's Arms, one of the many inns or pubs in Denby. And here, that was a fish and chip shop. This is in the back row. And there, that, on the corner there, with a little uh, shade hanging down, that was E.W. Davis. That was a fishmonger. So that's the back row. And there, it's a optometrist now. It's just, uh, yeah. And that was the Gegin, Gegin Berg, where you catch up on the, on the latest gossip. Gegin Berg, which means little kitchen. And just on the corner there, that was also another deli. That was a Cluid Pierce, Cluid Pierce Delicatessen. And next door to it was the Star Tea Company. That's next door to the Crown. That was the Star Tea Company. So let's have a wander over the high street. So starting with the building or the shop on the corner there, corner of Bull Lane, that was Thomas's. A <laughs> nice big van blocking the view there. Thomas's Clothiers, high class clothing. And next door to it is what, what it is now with the post office, but that's not the original location of the post office. I'll show you a bit later on where the original post office was. And next door to it, uh, is Harrison Jones. It's now Royals, Royals Chemist Pharmacy. But that was originally, it was a chemist, but it was called Harrison Jones. But as you can see now, it's Royals. And next door, there, where are we? There we are, it's uh, North Cluid Animal Rescue now, was Bradley's Drapery. Bradley's Drapery. And next door to that, as you can see now, it's the co-op. That was a cinema, originally. And it was also, a, after the cinema, it was also a very large, I'm sure it was called Burgess. It was a toy shop, but it was originally a cinema. So, as you can see, but it's now the co-op. And a bit further along, what was Holland and Barrett there, that was E.B. E.B. Jones Grocers, and then it became the Fresh Food Centre, and it was split. There was the uh, butchers on one side and the green grocers on the other side. But it was originally E.B. Jones, which was a grocers. And a bit further along, next door, there, you can see that building there. That was Hooks Kennard. Now that was a chemist. And for years, it was propped up with, I think it was all three or four wooden props. And I remember it ducking down and walking and be, be underneath the, the props. It was literally held up with wooden props. But it was originally Hooks Kennard Chemist. And next door, you can see boots there. That was Denson's, that was a drapery, Denson's Drapers. And it also, after that, it was a Timothy White's. But it was originally Denson's Drapers, but as you see now, it's, it's Boots, Boots the Chemist. And, oh, 
almost opposite Boots the Chemist, somewhere located roughly, roughly here, there was a water pump where people used to come. There was no running water in the days, days of old, old Denby. And this is where they used to come. This was one of the, the pumps where they used to pump water up and it wasn't that, that clean actually. But that's where they used to pump the water up. So well, it's roughly, roughly around here, it was a, a water pump. And just next door to the vaults there, that building there, there was a little news agent there. That's why I used to buy the Liverpool Echo from my father. And this is, well, it's sort of halfway between Portland Place and Bridge Street. And that place there was the gem. It was a gem grocer's, but then it became like a, like a news agent and a sweet shop. So that was the gem grocer's. And there, it's a barber's now, but that was uh, Hereford House. It also became Regency Hairdressers. It's the bottom of Swine Market. But it, uh, it, that was a saddler's shop. Uh, and that was called Hereth Hereford House. And just across the way there, that was Isaac Morris. That was a shoemaker. And also Cawthry took it over and he was a, a shoemaker and shoe repairs as well. But it was originally I Isaac Morris. That's the bottom of Swine Market. And here was Airwins, one of the uh, grocers, Airwins. And there was also another one there, which is not there today. It's been knocked down, but this was Airwins, one of the green grocers on Bridge Street. Okay, just off the high street, as you can see, you've got Evan Jones there. That was the Druid Inn, and it's still called today, it's the Druid Buildings. And they've knocked through now, it's all there, but that was a news agent. And I was a paper boy for, the, uh, for there. And there, the Halifax, or the old Halifax, it's the Star Shop. You can see there, Robert Owen, they've still got the sign there. And it's called the Star Shop because next door was the Star Inn. And next door to that was the Harp Inn. But that's why it's called the Star Shop. So this is a bit further up. Headed up to, it's actually not Love Lane. It's, uh, well you can see there, it's Highgate. Highgate up until Rudy's. But uh, as you see there, Arrow Inn and Sun. That was the Star Shop. But here was Arrow Winds. That was a very similar shop grocers and stuff like that which, which was here and the door was there to go in there as soon as you went in the first thing you, you smelled was the coffee just to grind the coffee beans so uh so this like i say is this high gate love lane starts there this gable end here that's the oldest well part of the oldest building in denby dates back to I got off the top of my head, but that's the oldest building in Denby, but all that's left of it today, as you can see, is this gable end. That's not the original building, but that is there, this gable end here. That's the oldest building in Denby. And here was the old, well, it's, it was the Wedgwood when I was a kid. That's where I used to, when I grew up, lovely garage there. That was the Wedgwood, and it later became the Futura Cinema. And on the corner here, Swine Market, that was Rudy's, Rudy's Sweet Shop, Sweet Shop and Tobacconist. And a bit further along, you got the Britannia Inn, that was Hetty Haywood's, originally it was the, the paint shop for Williams Brothers. Williams Brothers used to, we were coach builders, like I say, and uh, my Tide, which is my grandfather, he worked for, for Williams Brothers. And when they retired and got too old and what have you, they, they gave him the whole, all the buildings. But that was Hetty Haywood's. It's now the Britannia Inn. Well, as I say, this was Williams Brothers Coach Builders. And a bit further up. This is Love Lane I'm in now. That's uh, where my father and my tide used to run the garage. And just a bit further up here, on the side here, on the left, 
it was Ivers, and that was a like a deli, deli Tesson, like a you know a convenience store and stuff like that. I was always in Ivers on the corner there. So that's Love Lane. So that's it, back at Castell Denby, Denby Castle. So that was Denby and days gone by. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again.